If you're running a lot of different ad copy within your account, there is a way you can analyze that deeper within Motion. The first thing you're going to want to do is select Create Report up in the top left-hand corner, and we're going to build a top performing report. Now, you also can do this with any existing report you already have built. So for example, that top performing report we were looking at earlier, you can take a look and see what copy is running specifically for your top performing ads if you wanted. But let's just start from scratch for this lesson. So what you're going to want to do is select Group By, and we're going to choose the copy option here. We also have it set to the last 14 days. So we're looking at copy that's just been running within this time frame. After that, I always like swapping over to card view because it's going to give you the visual of the copy as well. So just a really quick glance at the copy rather than looking at it in a bar chart or line chart view. Next thing you're going to want to do is adjust some metrics. I might throw on a click through rate outbound to see which ads did actually click out. Maybe also a click through rate all. And then the metric I always recommend adding is the see more rate. See more rate essentially will show you if people clicked to read more of your copy. So you know when you have that long copy on an ad, there's always that little bit see more text to click and open it up to read the additional copy. So again, a great metric just to see if people were curious about your copy and wanted to read more. So what I would essentially do in this view is take a look at all the copy that's working and that's returning well for us or actually causing people to click out. See if you can pull at any themes. Are we using certain emojis within the copy? Are we using certain types of hooks or really shocking messaging, for example? See if you can pull any themes out here that you can then test in your next iterations of copy you running in your next sprint. So once you've gone ahead and pulled out some themes in here, um, a couple other things to mention as well about the copy report is you can head down here to the table chart view and you're going to see all the ads running with the different copy. So I can click in here and see there's 84 ads running with this copy specifically. Click add breakdown and you're going to get a pop up window here. So once you're here in the ad breakdown view, you're going to see all the individual ads running with that copy. So a great way to just get a quick glance at which ads have that specific copy attached to it. I can click this open in meta option, which is going to pull up the ad in meta. So if you ever need to make any changes or whatever it might be, it's going to bring you directly into meta from there. Aside from that, that's our quick group by copy report showing you all the different copy running within those ads within the last 14 days in this case. If you are running dynamic creative specifically, there are a couple additional filters you're going to want to throw on here. So feel free to hop over to that lesson a little bit further down and we'll dive a little bit more into dynamic creatives and how to look at copy in that case.